I tried to measure my charisma on a Vitomatic Vigor tester once. The machine burst into flames. Here are our top stories. A hostage crisis between the NCR and the Great Cons was resolved peacefully when a third-party negotiator successfully secured the hostage's release. In other news, listeners have been unable to pick up radio broadcasts from Black Mountain recently. Most are calling the static, quote, a welcome improvement. This program was brought to you by Gamora. Gamora. It'll be our secret. I beg to differ. I liked hearing stories about Mo the Centaur. Eh, well, what can you do? Tabitha's on her little adventure with Rhonda. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time, we went to the south side, then we went to the west side, and also the Aerotech farm to... Well, not the farm, the park, to start wrapping up everything that there is to do around Vegas before we get to the final battle, but there's still a lot to do before we do that. Uh, we also cleared out a nest of undesirables for, for the summer, and other than that, not really a whole lot to, like, say, we big things we did. And we're going to be doing something a little big today, and then we're just basically going to be working our way up towards the major things before uh, the final battle. So what are we going to be doing today? Well, first things first, I'm back at the Sunset Sarsaparilla HQ. The reason is why is I went back to the Lucky 38 and picked up all the Sunset Sarsaparilla I've collected up to this point. And doing so, I decided to destroy my liver, my gums, and pretty much got the diabetes. And as you can see, I got over the amount of caps that I needed for this. So now that we have 51 caps... We can finally go, and I hope this prize is worth it, damn it. Hopefully it's worth enough to pay for my hospital bill. I'm never drinking root beer ever again. Is that spoiler of root beer, or is it just like a another form of stuff? I don't know. I've never drank sarsaparilla. I doubt I'm ever going to. Eh, you don't say. You know, Raul, I think you would look nice with a mustache. The fact that he's looking at me from an angle and his eyes actually tracking me, it just ups the creep creepiness factor. Alright, here's your star bottle caps. You damn right. What? Oh, look no. People didn't have a heap of choices when it came to soft drinks. It was either water or Nuka Cola. Now, the threat of legal or action balls, if Fallout Brotherhood of Steel is anything to say. Well, beverage. But sometimes people just wanted something different, you know? So one day, a man, a saloon owner in a small town, decided to make a new type of soft drink. And asked his patrons what flavor they'd like it to be. After getting no help from them, a stranger at the end of the bar suggested the man make a sarsaparilla flavored drink. The stranger said he would happily share his family. 
Screw this, I'm going back to Nuka Cola. Is this some kind of joke? Now, contrary to what uh, Festus says, don't actually go through the double doors because doing so just leads you to a dead end. You actually do need to go through the Sunset Sasparilla HQ to get to the door he was mentioning. It, 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 it sucks. I'm not going to lie, this is actually a second take because the first one went to hell due to the fact that Audacity had the audacity to break on me. And so I lost most of the commentary, and what commentary I did lose was somehow only on one channel, so I had to switch it to mono to try and fix it, but it just became too much of a headache. Plus, for some reason, it started to get like a little desynced in places, so I, I was just very distraught. And so we're doing a take two, and hopefully this time I can actually get through this without wanting to cry afterwards. But in doing so, doing a take two, I know exactly where to go, because I'm not going to lie, I kind of spent over five minutes just trying to find the damn room that the prize is in. Also, I did not notice there was a wall safe right here. Let's see what's inside. It's only an average lock. Shouldn't be that hard if I can actually find the pressure point. There we go. Let's see, pre-war money, scotch, and wow, there's a star bottle cap sitting right in here. It was right under my nose the whole time. Ah, well, it doesn't really do anything, do anything in the matter. Now, you might be wondering what happens to the star bottle caps after we turn them in for this quest. Well, it kills a robot for you, but it also just converts it into a standardized bottle cap. So, if you ever see, like, a stun, uh, star bottle cap added, it just becomes more money for you. Alright, what's our prize? Our prize is... Sunset Sarsaparilla Deputy Badges. They weigh nothing, and they're worth nothing. This isn't gonna pay for my hospital bill! Ay. Well, maybe... Well, okay, maybe that might pay for my hospital bill. The crates in here are filled to the brim with caps, which is always nice. It makes sense. It's a bottling place. There's a soft drink HQ, so it makes sense that the stuff would have a lot of caps in it. So this kind of makes up for the lack of a good, a good reward that this quest entails. However, this isn't the only good thing that you get out of it. And as soon as I just finished grabbing the last of the money, there we go. We see this gentleman uh, punched over in the corner. He's got a star bottle cap on him. Nice. And he's got the energy cells. I'll take that. Ooh, hollow tape. Yeah, that's kind of a deep story. It actually gives you background to a character that, uh, like, when you first do this, and there's, like, the guy who runs up to you trying to get your star bottle caps. He talks about, like, a certain guy who's been killing other people for their caps, and, well, this is the guy. And the tool to do so is his trusty little unique uh, laser pistol, Pew Pew. Aw, oh, man, his star fell off. You know what? Here. You get a set. Close enough. Uh, we get uh, the unique laser pistol. Now, contrary to what some people might think about it, Pew Pew is actually one of the higher tier uh, energy weapons in the game. Uh, it's a laser pistol, so yeah, it doesn't really offer that much. But if you look at it, its uh, damage output, it's at 130, which is quite impressive. 
and it also you know it looks pretty cool it's got these like little tesla coils on the top it's red and silver which are my favorite color combo in most things uh but you might be wondering uh is this that great oh god he's gone back to the story again uh the way it fires kind of mimics uh, what its name is because you see it has 10 shots however it only has two shots hence its name pew pew however it's not that bad. It consumes five pieces of ammo, but those five shots are generated into each shot, so it still packs the punch of five shots. And, you know, it doesn't take that much to reload, so that's always nice. And plus, if you can actually uh, fill it with overcharged shots, then just, my god, this is this thing godly. Especially if you spec into energy weapons. But now, it is time for us to go to the north side. We've been to the south side, we've been to the free side, we've been to the west side, now it's time to go to the north side. Now, don't worry, north side's just a quick little distraction before we make our way over to where our main attraction for this video is going to be. However, uh, it's going to involve me going through a bit of a maze because there is actually another unique Mojave weapon over here. So, yeah. Thankfully, due to the failed run, I know exactly where to go so it doesn't... It's not that bad nowadays, but still. In fact, it might be quite profitable. It might actually go much more smoothly than last video did, because last video, I'll say the commentary was a little hiccupy at times. Hello, you have a... Hello. Very, like, nice name and outfit, sir. Can I help you with something, stranger? Uh, tell me about North Vegas. We've been here for a few years, just looking for a place we can call our own. Life's harsh, but still, it beats the hell out of the desert. We've got numbers, we've got food, and we've got trade. That's progress, stranger. Uh, what is it that you do here? Keep your nose to the ground, stranger, that's what. Mind your own business and let us mind our own. Are we clear? If you've got a mind to loot the old H&H &H tools factory, don't even bother. That place is sealed tighter than a rad scorpion's bunk. Oh, that's a pretty image. Every salvager who tries gets blown up, flattened, or gutted by traps. Then he starts to stink up the town, and we're the ones to clean up the mess. All right, well, can I at least get your name, sir? Name's Crandon, stranger. I keep an eye out for trouble around here. What kind of trouble? Folks that don't belong. Murderers, rapists, extortionists, and everything in between. You know, business as usual in North Vegas, stranger. Uh, doesn't the NCR help keep order around here? NCR? Did you just crawl out? Well, I did die. Heart? Those folks only care about their business, their people, and their pockets. NCR's order? Don't make me laugh, stranger. We work this land, we own these streets, and we yank up the bad weeds ourselves. Got it? Uh, does getting dig out of a shallow grave count as coming out of a rock? Because there's a lot of rocks on top of me. Alright, what's your role here? Jules, myself, and a few others patrol the streets and sewers. Any punks come up out of the rest of the city, we give them the runoff. Need any hand? You want to help us out? What makes you think we want you around here, huh? Hmm, well, I got the skills, the will, and the firepower. All I expect is a decent reward for my work. Also, they forgot a comma in the, in the words down there. Spoken like a true mercenary. Well, you seem like you can handle yourself, stranger. We can use people like that. We may not squander our wealth like those fools in the strip, but we take care of our own business. Consider this a token of good faith. Not much faith in me, is there? Some squatters decided to take space where they don't belong over by the playground. We'd prefer to keep them off the streets and out of sight. Maybe you could go and talk to them. Convince them to see things our way. I just realized that you have like three watches strapped to your arm. Do you really need that hard? Is it really that hard for you to tell what time it is? All right, I'm on it. I like your speed, stranger. Let me know when that's done. But before oh. that, it's time to level up. Now that begs the question, what do I actually put it what into what? Alright, so not really a whole lot of wait, why is energy weapons only at 
Oh yeah, I don't really uh, get a perk until next level, that's why. Uh, I put energy weapons up to 55 just so that we can get a little bit of a boost for level 34 so we can get that one perk I was going for. Um, guns is at 85, which I'll probably dump some in the guns after uh, the next level up as well so that guns stop swaying as much. I might just up it all the way up to 100 if I have the skill points to pour into it. I uh, mainly weapons to 40 just because that 39 was getting under my skin. And sneak is at the 43, and an arm is at the 33. Actually, you know what? No. Actually, you know what? Better yet, we'll put two into there for medicine. We're done with that. Go into my skill book, or, well, my aid, because I have the DC Journal of Internal Medicine. And doing so, now puts medicine at 85. There. I am intelligent, as some people beg to differ. Hello, sir. I hear you're undesirable. Those cons got the hint. We've shown everyone that these are our new territories. Actually, these are my territories. It's time for you to leave. What do you want? Cranon says you're not allowed to stay here. You'll have to go somewhere else. Oh, really? And how are you going to make us? Dude, seriously? Look at me. I am decked out head to toe in power armor. Granted, I'm wearing my silly little hat, but I'm not wearing my power helmet. And plus, pew pew is not really the most intimidating thing in the world. But still, I am wearing power armor, damn it. Why can't you ever be intimidated by my damn armor? I'm only asking nicely, and I only do that once. Hey, hey, don't worry. I was just kidding. We're going, right, boys? I like the fact that I'm probably the most in unintimidating person in the world. I can intimidate anyone just by having enough uh, pouring into a speech check. But yeah, look at this. If you see this coming at you, granted, just ignore the tiny little head on this big bulky set of armor. Would you really try to mess with it? I swear, why can't games nowadays ever just have like an armor system where if you're wearing like really like heavy duty armor, people don't get in their heads of, hey, you know what? I think I can take that with just my dinky little switchblade. You pretty well wiped out the fiends around here. Not that Man, that is not old that. news. Time for me to go. I need to talk to you about the squatters. Are you taking care of those squatters? Yes, I've dealt with them. That's good to hear. Can't ever be too careful with strangers around here. I take care of those who help with that. Here, you earned it. All right, what's the next line of, line of work? Good work with those newcomers. I think he can handle more serious business with more serious rewards. There's a handful of greasers down in the sewers causing trouble. They ain't packing too much iron, but I'd like them dealt with all the same. The sewers? Aw, oh, man, but that, but that place is like full of poo gas and stuff. <sighs> Fine, I'll go deal with them. Glad to hear it. Let me know when they're gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go in the sewers. Who the hell stays in a sewer? Who lives in a sewer? Granted, probably just... No, no, what? Civilization here is kind of getting back on track. I think the sewer line is still running. But before we go down to the sewers, I want to talk to this fellow. We should fellow. reclaim the rest of the city if the rumors about house are true. Hmm. <laughs> I see a lot of folks come and go, but none fits your type. Where you come from, stranger? The grave! Um, I'm just another random wasteland wanderer. Why the suspicion? Because that's the law of the land. You never know when someone's going to stab you in the back. And I like mine upright. Maybe one day, stranger, when you've seen all I've seen, done all I've done, you'll sooner trust a rad scorpion than a new face. I just put today's video on rad scorpions. Also, your friend over there is giving me the thousand yard death stare. I see you take care of yourself. Your revolver's trigger shines like silver. You've got a sharp eye on you. I take it you like guns, huh? question is, can you handle more than just a weapon? Uh, what do you mean by more than just a weapon? I mean, you've got to know yourself before you can truly know the gun. So let's see it, stranger. Do you know yourself? Uh, of course I know myself. I know who I am. Who doesn't? You don't get it yet, stranger. I'm not surprised, though. It takes a special type. Come back when you've got what it takes. I doubt I'm ever going to have what it takes. That's a long one, stranger. Let's just say I got tired of killing in the wasteland, and now I found a better home for my old butt. I think I know where you, you've meant. Oh no, no. What is it that you do here? Outer Vegas ain't exactly a safe place. Despite our numbers, the wasteland creeps through every nook and cranny. 
I make sure any dangers to the people of North Vegas stay outside our barrier, stranger. Day and night, I stand watch. Hmm. Sounds tedious. I'll see you again, stranger. Now, this guy right here, the survival check, which is actually one of the very few. I think there's only like two or three survival checks in the entire game. Uh, the outcome of it isn't really that great. I'll just tell you right here and now. The only thing you actually get out of passing that survival check is the ability to craft a certain type of ammo. I think it's either it was magnum rounds or it was like the government ammo for the Ranger Sequoias, the brush guns and all that stuff. Have you seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You can see it from my Yeah, you're only standing a few yards away from it. I don't understand you whatsoever. But yeah, uh, future me will probably just throw up what type of ammo you're allowed to craft after passing that check. But it's nothing really that great. It's better if you're like doing like a hardcore run where survival is actually, you know, mandatory to make sure that you survive best. But now we gotta go into the sewers, these smelly, 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 germ-infested sewers. You know what? No, no, I can't handle this. I need something to filter out that smell. I can't, I know, I just can't. There are some things in life that you need to deal with and some things in life you don't need to deal with. For me, sewers is kind of where you cross the line. Thankfully, I got working power armor and it has a nice working filter inside it, along with a working radio and a working light. And okay, actually the light does not work whatsoever. I need to use my pit boy. I kind of wish that, actually does this thing, yeah, this thing does have a headlamp on it. They just never did it, I guess because of limitations. But inside the sewer, where not only will we find Eddie's magazines, uh, we will find the unique weapon as well as the place where we need to find those squatters. And I'm not gonna lie, getting the unique weapon... What the hell was that? Uh, it must have been water or something. Uh, getting the weapon isn't really that great. It's not a very powerful weapon. It, I think it was just more put there as a joke weapon of anything because it's like... Add insult to injury that, haha, you actually killed someone with this weapon, you must now make them feel bad. But first things first. Seems I'm coming no more this day. Sir? Sir? What the hell are you looking at, punk? Seriously, look at me. Are you really gonna try and antagonize me while I'm wearing this? I hear you've been causing trouble. Oh yeah? Fuck off, asshole. Ooh. I'm so tempted. I was hoping you'd be that stupid. Ah, uh, better side of me is just wanting to get them out of here peacefully. Plus there's, you know, experience for doing so. I don't. Wait, you've got a point. All right, fellas, let's get out of this shit. Literally. I'd like to pew pew you right upside the head. I have no idea what you just said. Yeah, as he said, uh, sewers can lead to fiend territory. The sewers can lead to a lot of things down here. The sewer is actually a complex series of mazes. Uh, the worst that you'll probably find down here is ghouls. Uh, of all things, there are NCR troopers down here, as well as fiends, which makes sense because one of the out outputs is Camp McCarran, so it makes sense that the NCR would have troops stationed down here to protect their base. But before we do anything, let's test out Pew Pew. We got, we got a nice little ghoul, killing ghoul. But we have, we have some test skinny pigs, or I guess rats in this case, and just Pew Pew if you can actually hit them. Come on in. Pew! Nice, clean, and to the point. Probably shouldn't be wasting pew pew at this point because it does consume a lot of ammo. Uh, you know, what can we use? You know, we'll use Dragon's Breath. We haven't been using that a whole lot. But inside the store right here, we can find this fellow, Blind Luke. He will have with him a key as well as Psycho and all that stuff, I thought there was, a, there was a magazine or like a note that he had around him, but whatever. This is actually a bit of an unmarked quest to find the stash that's located down here that key opens. And it is a pain in the ass if you don't know where you're going. Thankfully I do, and I'm not gonna lie, my first run through this, it didn't end well. The, where we need 
to do uh, to find the stash, the best, uh, the best advice I can give for it is to just keep going to the southwest, or the southeast. And we need to go through these sewer doors right here, I believe. Memory serves me well. Um, we need to keep going southeast until we find the NCR position. Excuse me, rat. Thank you. Ghouls! These sewers have gotten a little hot. Too bad this thing doesn't have an air conditioner built into it. That would be the NCR power armor. Uh, but we should be getting pretty close. And they see me. Oops. Yeah, we'll go for slug rounds. They always can help close the distance. Oh, slug grounds are so fun. We should be getting close, or did I actually go through the wrong position again? I think I might have went taking a wrong turn. Was it this way, or maybe I maybe it was the turn up here. Excuse me, cool. Thank you. Yeah, I think I made a, might have made a wrong turn. Yeah, I did. That just leads out to the surface, and that's not where I want to go. I think I'm... Was I supposed to go straight? the hell? the hell is that? Time and space is being distorted right here, ladies and gentlemen. See, this is why I don't like the sewers. Mostly because of the... Mostly because of the gas, but also because of apparently time and space is being distorted down here. I need to get out of here fast. Now, believe it or not, the sewers is actually one of the very few locations that you can actually use the local map, and it is not a pain in the ass to look at. Uh, it's better than anything. It's the only, because of the wide open tunnels and stuff, you know exactly where you're going, where everything leads to. Alright, uh... I think it might have been a bit further down this way. Yeah, there's the two friendly things. So yeah, I went the complete wrong direction because right here you see a couple sandbags. And there are the NCR troopers. So you know you're at the right halfway point. Uh, but that leads up to Camp McCarran if you haven't discovered it and you just, for whatever reason. Oh wait, that's that. Uh, which means the beams are up there. And you know what? We'll use explosive rounds on these guys. Why? Because I feel like it. Oh, come on, step a little closer. Alright, fine. I'll just explode you and you alone. Explode you. Alright, fine. Time to chop! Do you like the sight of your own blood? That was actually pretty cool with like how I immediately sheep my katana after like slash him. God, I am such a weeb. Alrighty then, now we need to... Oh, wait, was it through the beam? No, it was a bit further down. Take that, ghoul. And you too, rat. I believe it was this way. Right up here. No, wait, I'm going the wrong way. I was back through the fiend door. I'm an idiot. This is why I hate about the sewers. No one likes sewers. Name one sewer level that people actually like, and that is not a Ninja Turtles level. the fiend door, we actually need to go through and up here. We'll hit you. Actually, you know what? We'll hit you in the body. Ooh, lovely. 
and begins the karma for killing them. How disturbing. No need to range, not been about you on you. Do you have a stim pack on you, please? Nope, just ammo for a caravan shotgun. As if I'm ever gonna use it. But right through this door is the sealed sewers. And that leads to our goal. However, our goal is heavily guarded. We got reavers, we got glowing ones, and we got ghouls, and we got a lot of shooting to do. One. Come on. Come on. Hit him! Uh-oh. Raul, Eddie, if there was ever a time for you to save my ass, that would be it. All right. Come on, act. Glowing one. Oh, wait. One, two. Oh, I just love it when they explode in a chunky mess. Wow, Eddie, you actually saved my ass for once. And not steal my kills. Thank you. And also, wow, for a high level and very dangerous enemy in Fallout 3, you guys go down fast. And also, you carry. Also, you carry hardly anything of value on you, unlike in Fallout 3. But this whole prospect right here has got a fire axe that you can get, one of the very few you can actually get in the game. Uh, we got ammunition, the duffel bag carries a lot of ammunition, carries combat armor that's the reinforced variant, which is nice if you want to get like a quick and easy version of it for free. Although it's not really that, that valuable like Gunrunner, so it's easier to just get it there. But on the Prospector himself, we get some ammo, some bottle caps, a silenced pistol, and the humble cudgel. It's... it's a lead pipe. The unique weapon for the sewer system in North Vegas. Where is it? There it is. It's a lead pipe. With a T-shaped filter! Is that what it's called? Is it a filter? Or whatever? I don't know. I ain't a mechanic, but yeah, this does count as a unique Mojave weapon, as ass awkward as it is, I guess I think it was like made as a joke weapon because of like the stuff you have to go through to actually find the damn thing. But the completionist in me had to go get it. Alright, let's get ourselves out of here. I guess the fastest way would be to just leave through the McCarran exit and just make our way back to Northside, so I would just see you back when I get to Northside. And right about now! Back in the very forgettable north side. Oh, it's been too long. Hard to believe that we fast traveled all the way to... All the way down to McCarran in just like a few short steps in the sewers. Have you run Kinda makes you think of how they set up the entire layout of this place, but whatever. Granted! I gotta make sure this place doesn't eat itself. Yes, and more! I take care of those who help with that. Here, you earned it. You know, you know unless you start paying me more, we're not going to become good friends. All right, what's my last Talk job? Mrs. Hostetler. She's near the Crimson Caravan. I think her daughter's making bad friends, the kind that'll slit your throat in the dark. I like your enthusiasm, stranger. Let me know when that's done. All right, I'll go see her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm never going to let you know when it's done because I actually don't report back to you ever again. All right. Now, when he said we needed to go all the way to the Crimson Caravan Company, that is a lie. We actually need to go into, like, the small little neighborhood area that is outside Crimson Caravan. Uh, I don't like this as much because there's no direct fast travel to it of all places. There's just, I guess the closest would be the, the, the sack caravan over here. Although, it, it, I don't get why. They couldn't just, like, put a fast travel over here just to make things less tedious. I also don't get why the fast travel location for the North Vegas Square isn't doesn't just put you in the square. Just put you outside. That means I gotta go through two loading gates just so I can get back to Northside. It's ridiculous. As much as I love this game, and much as I wish that this would get a remake, it's ridiculous. And hopefully if the remake actually becomes a thing, and the rumors were true even though it wasn't showcased at E3, uh, they can fix some of the wonky, uh, fast travel locations. And also, I wouldn't mind them 
making Sunset Sarsaparilla like a go-to drink as promotion, like how they did with the Quantum for they Fallout 4. They say those War. robots on the strip are running around because with... I don't actually know what, what uh, Sarsaparilla tastes like. Get out before I blow your head off. But what about those robot did, faces huh? that are running around with different right. faces? What do you want? Settle down, Granite sent me. Also, as entertaining as it is to see you try and shoot through reinforced steel and bulletproof glass, he, should really uh, he sent me to business. see if Cranin's you had a problem. I take care of problems. Exactly subtle. If you're good at snooping around, then I could use you. So, do you've got work for me, or...? She's been frequenting the square in North Vegas, probably hanging out with street scum. I want to know more about her new friends. Man, but I left my snooping suit back right. at the Lucky 38. Deal, I'll make sure to come All right, I'll time. check them out for if you. If you find anything useful. Goodbye, stranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see if I find anything useful around. Yeah, whatever. All right, back to North Side. Someone, please kill me. And we're back in Northside. It's not like we haven't been here 10,000 times already. It's, it's given me Thousand Year Door flashbacks of, you know, that one chapter. But, oh, no, wait. Actually, mm -hmm. almost made the same mistake I did last time. We actually do need to go talk Alice. to Cowboy oh, over yeah. here. I've seen her around here much too often. As I'm really. looking for I Alice. she's been hanging out with Andy and his crew. Try the gray. Beats me why people go into that forsaken thing. Uh, uh, do you know where I might find sewers, them? You know they ain't crumbling on top of your head. I'll see you again, stranger. Also, apparently Hudson sewers don't have a guy who will kill you over a fucking billfold. All right, into the gray. If I find a wolf in here, I'm gonna just walk out. They say those robots on the strip are running around with different faces or something. Don't ask, uh, because I don't know. Hello, sir. What the fuck you want, huh? But I do! I'm looking for Alice. I... Hostler, I think? Or whatever. Every time I play this, I always keep oh, yeah? mispronouncing her name as like Alice Holster or something. Don't tell me you Maybe look at that immediately think, oh, Maybe it's Holster. Here anymore. Maybe you ask too many questions, stranger. Eh, I just want to talk to them. Don't even try to snoop around or I'll fucking kill you right here, right now. Boy, do you see what I'm wearing? Do you see the company I have? Do you see what I am armed with? Although I think I'm armed with the lead pipe still. Do you really think you can handle this? Just you and your rinky-dink little pea shooter. Get out of here. I just what? thought Andy should kidding. know that Miss Why do I Miss Holster is waiting outside with him, shotgun in hand. I don't care if I'm mispronouncing it wrong, I just like saying Miss Holster a lot. Look at that. A tiny little floating 10 millimeter submachine gun. Yeah, that is going to do a lot of damage to this. And you know what? I beat you over the head with this lead pipe just to add insult to injury. Literally. Hello, what have we here? It is a note. I wonder what it says. <clears throat> it looks like you were right. The holster man always carries a, a full pouch back to the house every night. The same pouch empty whenever he goes to the work at Crimson Caravan. Fred seen it himself. No chance in hell this is all a coincidence. He's bringing something with him whenever he leaves work. That's gonna be his daily cut from the business. Alice is gonna have to find all that dough for us. If we get caught near their place, that bitch mother's gonna snap for the big guns. That'll make Crandon or worse, Jules come after us. I ain't too happy about risking my neck for nothing, Andy. 
Let's make sure Alice is a good doggy at first, then do whatever you want with her once we're out what of this fucking hole. At, huh? M. Answer me, or I'll man. get trigger happy real M. quick. From MI6? Oh man. Really? Why is everyone so antagonistic to the guy in power armor? I'm wearing what power armor, damn it! Why can't people fear me? That Alice's mother was waiting for me outside. Relax, I was just leaving. I've got my eye on you. Get the fuck off my turf. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. Or what? Or I what? I would love to see you try. Your mind that Alice is all Actually, the way you know in what? I know about your plans for Alice. Maybe because I'm so good looking. Maybe because her mother's trying to break and Why back, would she be? Planting crops that die from rads as soon as they're in the ground. Or maybe she's just a dupe. Why do you even care? She's happy making her own way in the world. Raul snidely scoffing to the and side that he looks better than him, and he's wearing that ridiculous-looking outfit. Go on and tell her then. She deserves to know that's the truth. What happens when you crush her dreams? And how exactly would you do that? Aren't you afraid I'll blow your plans? Yeah, sure. Like this, you're dead. Yeah, we'll see. Goodbye. Plus, it's the wasteland. We used to being disappointed. It's a hellhole out here. Speaking of hellhole, I really wish that there was a faster way of transportation. Why can't there be a more direct path there? Back off. I know how to use this gun, and I'm not afraid to shoot if you try anything. I put up I with swear, I better be enough. paid triple for all no this hard more. work. I'll, I'll kill them if they get in my way. I, mm, broken record. I'm just becoming a broken record at this it. point. I'm not here to hurt you. This better not be a trick. I just want to talk. That's all. What are you talking about? Andy or wants what? To help me leave this hole, doesn't he? Alice, Andy's just using using you to get to your money. That 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 son of a bitch! I'll take the money and I'll kill him too. No, look at this note I found in his room. I I don't know. Wow, what I want, that but that I hate that place, emotional I hate line reading. It uh, to be so what do simple. you really Why want, Alice? Change? Why can't they see my pain? Pull up my therapist chair. Do they? Look at my mother. All she cares for is a patch of bare dirt where nothing green will ever be. They care for you us. in their own way. My father, a trading business that he'll never own, risking his neck every day against wastelanders and cutthroat merchants. And I'm supposed to be part of those dreams? What about my dreams, stranger? What about me? It's all me, isn't it? The pain, the anger, my what joy. What about you? Only you can me. answer that. I should have met you before, stranger. Thank you. You know, slam poetry isn't really a thing since the apocalypse started. Maybe you could open up a slam poetry thing in she, New Vegas. You'd Alice make a left, killing. Didn't she? I can't believe Oy. you let her go. Some help you've been. It is done. Yes, I suppose you're right. Please. Oh, please. Accept half of Sooner or later, you're going to have to. She would have left somehow, anyway. As we've always done. Mm. We do need it, stranger. Still, I wish there was something. All right, fine. I'll take the payment. If you see Alice or will again, I? Please. Tell her we won't hold it against her. Tell Alice that we love her.
right. You hate her, you don't ever want her to come back, and she'll shotgun you if you step foot on this property ever again. Got it! Now, you might have called me an idiot before just turning down 500 cats, but... You know what? I can make 500 cats easily just by going to fiend territory and just gu gunning them down and taking, like, their energy weapons, so it's not really that big of a hit. But now it is time to go to the west side again. Now, we're not going to west side to go to west side. The location that we need to go to is actually literally right outside west side. And a pretty bad location as well. Not to say that there's, like, high-level creatures, even though sometimes a... a a fiend or a cazador strays over into the area. But because of the location of the fast travel, it, it it's located right next to another fast travel, and you will not believe the many times that I have accidentally went to that fast travel, only to go to the other fast travel, and it, it just gets annoying. It's the principle behind it, which, yeah, they're literally a stone's throw away from each other, but still. need to do is we need to go I think it's that uh, thing that the compass is pointing to yes no possibly yes it is over here there's also another unique Mojave weapon that's out here somewhere I know it's like near an overpass or something it's like somewhere in this side of the the Vegas area, but I don't know the exact location. It's always been that, that one out-of-place location that always, like, eludes me every time I play it, and I always need to, like, look it up just to make sure, which I'll probably do next time, just because I, I want to just get this done and over with, because I don't really want to do a two-hour recording again. I don't even want to know what that was. Now, where is location? Is it down here? Did I not go far enough? Wait. No. Did, did I pass it? Did I? I mean, damn it, I probably did. And actually, could I? Uh, no. I do know it's like near an overpass or something. It might be over there, but I'll have to go check like in between videos. There it is. There, th I can see like its location. Its location on the compass now. You know, I want to beat some with this cudgel just to say I have. Whatever comes up around this corner, it's getting a cudgel over the side of the head. Unless Raul kills him. No, I must kill him first. Damn it, Raul! Why do you have to take my kills? But here's the location that I have sought after for so long. We have arrived at the Thorn. Not only did we arrive at the Thorn, but we also arrived... ...at the West Side South Entrance. Now you see why the, I don't like the, the placement of the markers for it. They're literally right on top of each other. There's always been times where I went to the West Side Entrance when I've been trying to go to the Thorn. Yeah, it seems petty. It just seems like the, a pointless location to be closed at. It just seems like a pointless location to put a fast travel. Alright, 7.30 should be nice. Yep, it is the right time. Now, inside the thorn, it is basically Fight Club. Now, you know the first rule about Fight Club. What do you want? You talk about Fight Club, and we're going to be talking a lot about the Fight Club here. The clamor of our bloodthirsty crowds reaches every corner of the wasteland. But I'll pretend that your ignorance uh, doesn't what is this place? stranger. This is the thorn. Here's where the strong make a name for themselves, and the weak are fed to the jaws of hell. You can bet on the contenders, or, if you have what it takes, be one of the contenders. Be warned, the thorn demands Can I, can I name my band that? Break the rules, or offend me in any way, and I'll gut you open for all to see. What do you want to know? The rules are simple. My creatures all right, tell me more about pleasure. the thorn. You can bet on a contender. And earn double what if are the you choose rules? the victor. 
but you can get a bigger share if you risk your skin in the thorn. Win a fight, and I'll give you a meaty cut of the earnings. I won't tolerate anyone that interferes with the fight. Offend me, and your blood will be the next to spill. Other than that, anything goes. The deadliest beast of all. You've never seen anything like this before. Deathclaw is all right. the sacred Let's fight in the next match. Make your bet, stranger, before it's too late. Mm, red versus What's blue death claws. Uh, you know what? No, I want to fight. So we can fight giant mantises, rad scorpions, giant rad scorpions, and that's all. You can need to fight mantises, rad scorpions, rad, more rad scorpions. Uh, you, the range of things you can fight actually broadens as we do the quest, but you know what, I want to show off the thorn a little bit, so let's fight a giant rat scorpion. The crowd loves your bravery. Get to your cage and ready your arm. One, two, three of them, bring it on! For stupidity. Oh, trust me, my arm is ready. I mean, what? I'm gonna beat them with my cudgel. As if I'm gonna blow them up with explosive ammo. I ain't letting those things get anywhere near me. Three, two, one, let's jam. Um, I wanna jam. There, we jammed. I win! I always win! Play like the the dramatic fight music for um, right Star you. Trek, only to like immediately have it cut off. How was I, Raul? Eddie, where'd you disappear to? Well, Eddie, yes, stranger, here's your show. Eddie, and eh, knowing him, he's being used as a beach ball or something. Now, the more deadlier the creature, the more caps. This is actually a really good area to grind for caps if you have, like, the good amount of ammo and also What's on your mind? the right weapons to do so. Uh, the thorn is tell me a bit about you. Not the other way around. I live to make our kin able to train uh, how'd you become the master? Nations. Our land is harsh and hostile. Our lives are cheap and fragile. Death is our assured fate, striking when least we expect it. The thorn awakens us to the truth. Here we escape from our bonds and choose the moment of death against the will of destiny. So I heard that there's a slam poetry thing that's going to become a thing in New Vegas. You should definitely attend. The man does not care about petty squabbles among lesser men. Uh, what's your take on the state of affairs in the Mojave? Truly, the right question to ask this lovely lady. New Vegas will continue to live and die here. It matters not who their self-appointed master is. Truly, a woman after my own heart. Even um, if I trusted you, the thorn. I share my secrets just for your pretty face, stranger. And, uh, the thorn is how a do you train these creatures? Memory, a source of awe. Here we truly rule over the forces of nature for once. These beasts are slaves to their instincts and hunger for blood. That's a good enough answer for everyone, and it'll do for you too. I know, I have a hunger for blood all the time. Especially when it comes to a legion raiding party that doesn't get the hint that they're never gonna beat me. But at least tell me how you find them. We constantly replenish our stock to keep this holy ground soaked red. Only a few brave ones ever earn the honor of serving the thorn. 
Think you have what it takes? Hmm. All right. Prove your worth, and I'll reward your service. How can I help the Thorn? The Thorn needs newborn specimens that will one day grow to honor us with their blood. Bring me a dozen giant mantises' eggs. If you accomplish this, I might gift you with greater tasks in the future. You'll find egg-carrying mantises in the wasteland. But a wise hunter would search... All right, seems easy enough. Where, where, where can I find said eggs? The nearby ruins of Vault 22. No! No! No more vaults! I said no more vaults! Why can't this game ever just give me a break from the vaults? All right, fine, I'll find the damn eggs for you. Uh, I'm sick of going in the vaults. I've been on the ground more times than a mole. Also, where did Eddie disappear to? Oh, there, there you are, Eddie. You blended to the scenery too well down here. Let's get a move on. And it's nice to get into a fight that, you know, the, those two don't interfere with. Nice to actually, you know, use some ammo. Alright, so we gotta go back to Vault 22. Thankfully that place is cleared out, and thankfully this is gonna be the last time we actually truly go into a vault. Although, I'm sure there's probably someone who's not gonna be quoting me on that. Um, thankfully... Vault 22 is completely empty. There is nothing in here since we completed that quest. Uh, the mantises, they're all dead. The spore carriers, they're all dead as well. It's just a big empty area that you just go through, go to the end, to that one area in the caves, and just, you know, get what you need. Of course, now I need to remember the exact way to go. I do remember it's on this level, but uh, there it is. Into the caves! Thankfully, all the mantises are here dead. That's actually, you know, good memory. Usually, other games would have them all respawn, but for some reason, they're permanently dead, and their bodies are still here. Like, it's kind of unheard of for a game to leave, like, an enemy's body dead for and leave them here for this long. Because most games just despawn their character models to save up on space, but odd reason, these guys are still here. And you know what? I gotta commend the game for that. It not only has the draw distance, but it has the creature count as well. That's one thing I really do like about some games, where it's like... Okay, it's the... Is that the sport carrier? Even the sport carriers are still here. Uh, the thing is, it, it's dead. It stayed dead, but... Even after all this time, it's this. It's still dead. And you know, it, it it sets as like a good waypoint of you've been here and you're coming back. So here's a little reminisce of your adventures here. Also, I did not notice this duffel bag. Ten millimeter. That's fine. But let's get out of here. Thankfully, that wasn't as tedious as I thought it would be. And we are back with your eggs. Welcome back, stranger. I have the creature's eggs. Good work, stranger. The thorn will nurture these eggs until their hatchlings are ready to bleed for us. Here's a compensation for your service. I trust that we're in agreement over it. Read them and bleed them. What else? Who else could bring you so many intact eggs? I deserve a bigger reward, you know, for going into that empty vault and bringing back a handful of eggs. You speak the truth, stranger. And the thorn lives by the justice that honor and strength dispense. Here's a more fitting sum. Alright, so what's next on the grocery Green list? Some red scorpion eggs. I'll see to it that you're rewarded fairly. I guess it would make sense since I just killed a batch of them. The eggs I seek are not easy to find, stranger. Your best chances are in the mountains north of Good Springs, and west from Quarry Junction. So, they're really easy to find. You've got yourself a deal. So long, stranger. Uh, hopefully I cannot become a stranger to her. 
Why can't people ever just recognize me for the hard work I do for this place? Eddie, watch it. Won't have to worry about those fiend assholes for some time now, huh? I guess. So, the ranch scorpion eggs is one of the... <sighs> Are these the, like... No, there's another set of eggs that we need to get. No, there's actually two sets of eggs that we need to get that are still out in the wasteland. And not in, like, a cave system. Now, you might think we need to go to the Great Con Encampment. That is actually wrong. Where we want to go is Good Spring Cemetery. Uh, the encampment, if you remember from Cory Junction, it's just surrounded by a high wall of stone, and you can't go over it because there's an invisible wall in the way. But thankfully, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump down this little ravine. And also, as you can see, it's nice to return home. You know, the place where I pulled a Jesus. I mean, I, the, look at me. I am the Wasteland Messiah, so it makes sense for me to come back where I resurrected. Ah, a fitting sacrifice. More blood for the blood gods. Which side was the red scorpion eggs on? I think it was that one. It would be the one that the marker's pointing to. Now we just need to deal with the extended family. There's a lot of them down here. There's one scurrying around over there. One over there. I wouldn't be surprised if one sneaks up on me. But then again, I got these two behind me. This one behind me. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Ugh, he's old. Old and senile. Hard to believe he's the deadliest gunslinger in the Midwest. Oh my god. Oh my god, I should put a sensor bar over that red scorpion. What are you doing to those eggs? Not glitching, uh, burying it itself in the sand. Yeah, that's what it's doing. But the eggs have been found. Let's just grab them and go. Yoink! Too easy. Uh, it wouldn't be that easy, would it? All right, wanted them to live, you know, to continue the population, but life has other options. I would also like to point them in the right direction for me. You're dead. You gotta be here somewhere. Ah, there you are. Oh, the poor thing, it was, it was literally guarding itself like, no! And that one just got atomized. Where's our last victim? Nice and toasty. Oh, a lovely campfire as well. Alright, see you back at the thorn. And we're back. Welcome back, stranger. Hey, thank you for welcoming me back. Uh, eggs. Good work, stranger. The thorn will nurture these eggs until their hatchlings are ready to bleed for us. Here's a compensation for your... I was planning to help you get even deadlier creatures, but not without a raise. You're proving your worth to the thorn. I hope these extra caps are sufficient to demonstrate my fairness. More than enough. Also, you gave me a hunting rifle. Yeah, you actually, as you progress using the barter checks, you actually do get, like, progressively more and more uh, weapons. You get a hunter revolver and a hunting rifle from her. I think you also get a hunting shotgun as well, which, you know, makes sense due to trifecta. But, actually, no, it wouldn't make sense because 
of what we get for our final reward for this, so it wouldn't make sense to just her give you a standardized hunting shotgun. All right, so what's next? Bring a dozen fire gecko eggs. This great challenge will earn you a matching reward. Hmm, great challenge, you say? And where can I find these gecko eggs? Fire geckos are among the wasteland's most dangerous creatures. Near the Irritiba Peaks lies a nest where you may find their eggs. I'll find the eggs. Confident. I like that. So long, stranger. All right, so our gecko eggs are located way down here. Like, it's a location that we haven't even discovered yet, and uh, its discovery location is really, like, wonky. Because I... As you know, I've already done a recording of this. I had to return to that place, like, three times because... For some reason, it didn't register that I collected the eggs the first two times, and then it, even though going, I went into the location, it didn't register that I actually discovered the location. So, closest location would be Clark Field, so let's head off over there. Uh, why do I get the feeling that undesirables are going to be paying me a visit anytime soon? Also, hello, random dead guy. Wearing a radiation suit. Mr. Radical's journal! And a police baton. Worthless! What's this journal thing? Day one, love the suit. Can scavenge anywhere now and screw the rads. I hear by Chris and myself. Mr. Radical, get it? Ha! Ah, oh god, that sounds like something I'd come up with. Day four, suit passed first test with flying yellow colors. Overnight visit to Yucca Mountains didn't go too deep because something big moving around further down tunnel. Rad level high, even where I was, and I didn't feel a tickle. Go, Rad Suit, go! Day 5, vomited all morning, didn't splash on the suit or I'd be, didn't splash, or I'd be pissed, must be something I ate. Day 9, exciting, ran across old woman's scrapyard, brought a glowing container for merely 50 calves, headed to for Clark Field to prove the suit. At higher rad levels, if this holds up, I'm going to pop this jar of goo open and pour it all over me. I bet I could swim in this stuff if I had enough of it. Oh, yeah! Yeah, it's the silly stuff in the wasteland that really gets to me. And apparently it didn't end out well for him. It was either the rads that killed him or the geckos. My money's on the rads. Or... It could be these dicks over here that killed him. Go away! Why can't you guys ever take a hint? I kill you guys over and over again, but you don't ever seem to process the fact that I don't want you around me! Oh god, that's a grenade. Yeah, that was an incendiary grenade. I don't even know where you came from. Retribute. Retribute this! Look at this, you're now a pile of body parts. Retribute that, dick. I'll take all your ammo, I'll take all your stuff, I'll take your nuts as well and your mines. He's got a thermatic lance on him, that's good, I can sell that for... Wow, that thing is... Not that good worthy. Uh, casings, uh, legion armor. The thermatic glance is pretty valuable, even in its poor condition. I just want to save your car insurance. I. <coughs> Eddie, I need your help. Here, take this submachine gun and take this lance and be qu quick about it. Also, the hunting rifle that. My hunting shotgun. The lance. You know what? Take this combat armor. I'm not gonna use. Actually. Where's that combat helmet? Common helmet reinforced mark 2. Just a standardized reinforced one. My T 51's actually taking a bit of a beating, so it makes sense to fix it with the, the useless combat helmet. Much better. And I don't even know where that. 
third and fourth guy wins, so I'm not even going to bother with them. But we're getting pretty close to our destination. What should I use to deal with these geckos? Nah, too close quarters. Eh, stick with the old reliable. And we should be coming right around the corner. And location of the cave is right up there, I can see it. And pelvic thrust! There we go. Cave entrance located. And, of course, the waypoint is positioned in a place where I, even though I go into the damn thing, it still doesn't count as me going into the damn thing and discovering it. Alright, fine. Fine, I'll play it your way, gang. So many eggs now, Wesker's probably blushing. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Man, all the points are extremely useful against these guys. I guess it makes sense, these guys don't really have a damage threshold since they're animals. I always figured that Yegos had like at least a small amount of damage threshold because the like they had like thick hides and stuff. But evidently, I am wrong, as most people probably have come to know. Hmm? Oh, another dead prospector. With more weapons and ammo. Also, he's got a hunting shotgun. And a single shotgun. And a tire iron, of all things. Uh, uh, whatever, Raul. You say what you th think makes you feel happy. Still. Don't even think about it. I'll make you break dance to death. Eggs. I love eggs. And we're done. And this time it officially says it, and not, hey, you got the eggs, but you didn't get the eggs, so come back here. Oh, you didn't find the location? Well, then you're gonna have to travel all the way back and get attacked by another Legion assassin. Oi. More eggs for the egg god. Yes. You have good news. Good work, stranger. The thorn will nurture these eggs until their hatchlings are ready to bleed for us. Here's a compensation for your service. I trust that we're in agreement over it. I've shown you my worth. Doesn't your best hunter deserve a better reward? You are a match to my elite. But don't congratulate yourself so profusely just yet. Still, your valor deserves recognition, and I shall honor it. Is there anything else I can do to help? The What's the next thing? collect one of its deadliest creatures. 
Find Night Stalker eggs, and your bravery will be greatly rewarded. I thought you said deadliest creatures, not most adorable creatures. Night Stalkers are amongst the most fearsome beasts you'll ever face. They're also hard to find, but I know of a nest at a cave near Bitter Springs. Alright, Night Stalker eggs, finish. it shall be. I like that. So long, stranger. Man, I don't want to go hunt Night Stalkers. Night Stalkers are awesome. Also, I gotta... Yeah, I have to delve into something I really didn't want to delve into this video. I wanted to save it for another video. Uh, but we'll get to it when we get there. We need to go all the way over to... This location. The closest place would be the Brotherhood of Steel safe house. So that is where I will go. And we've arrived. Possibly going to be eaten by a death claw. Possibly going to be smothered to death by death stalker cuteness. Uh, it'd be a way to go. I really don't want to hunt these guys. Death stalk. Uh, no one was to say death stalkers. No, this is an MST3K video. Night stalkers. Oh, I don't want to hunt them. They're adorable. They're not fearsome. They're freaking cute. I'd have a pet one, or a plush one at least. Seriously, if uh, someone could get on that uh, Night Stalker uh, plush, I would be very appreciative of it. Alright, so... My cataracts, you always sort of look like the bad guy. Oh gee, thanks. Are you saying the Brotherhood of Steel are bad guys? I don't want to kill you guys, I'm so sorry! You're too cute to die! Alright. Oh hey, we leveled up already? Wow, that was fast! But we reached level 34! It is time to up energy weapons by 5 and the rest go into guns. Alright, so I decided to just dump that last point into Sneak just so that I can... I'll probably fill Sneak up to at least 50 by the end of... By the time I start the DLCs and stuff. Because I do know Sneak is actually really good for the first one. As well as uh, Melee, so I might start fo uh, focusing on that after Guns goes up to 100 next uh, level. But now that we have gotten our energy weapons to 60, as well as our guns and stuff, where is that perk that I wanted to get? It would be... Oh, oh. Ah, damn it, I forgot I could get this perk as well, Burden the Bear. The Wastelander with the most gear wins, or at least survives. You can now carry an additional 50 pounds of gear stacked with a strong back perk. This is going to be really helpful for something that's going to come up in the DLCs. I don't know if I want to get that now or if I want to get... Um, where is it? Pack rat. Items are with a weight less of two or less. Weigh half as much as you do. That's not really that good. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Concentrated fire. With concentrated fire, your accuracy hit to hit any body parts in bats increases slightly with each subsequent hit hit on that body part. AKA, every time you tag a body part in bats, uh, accuracy goes up. It's actually one of the more useful perks. That's what I'm going to go with, and then next time when we hit level 36, I'm definitely going to grab Burden to Bear. Hopefully I can get up to there by the time we start the DLCs. But we will cross that bridge when we get to it. Oh, Cazadors. Man, you guys you guys are awesome. You managed to take down a Cazador and stuff. The hell? Why is there just a random con all the way out here? Wait a second. Thank you for your advice. You've helped me see more clearly. Oh no, wait, you're the guy that was like sniping the refugees back at Bitter Springs. Why are you still all the way over here? Why aren't you all the way back in like uh the Red Rock Canyon by now? Actually I could have sworn I saw you back at Red Rock. All right, whatever. We've arrived at Bloodborne Cave. Wait a second. Uh, unholy abominations. Uh, a hunter. Bloodborne. Stop! Oh my God, this is an this is an unannounced prequel to Bloodborne. It all makes sense. Actually, no, it doesn't. I just wanted to say that. 
Now, this place is home to Night Stalkers, which, go figure since this is where the eggs are located. But the thing about this place is, is that, was that it? Yep, right over there is one of the very few legendary creatures in the game. There's a total of, I think, around like four or five legendary creatures in this game. There's a Night Stalker, a Cazador, a Deathclaw, and a Fire Gecko. There's also another one that's DLC related, but we'll, I don't get into it. I just want to talk about the base games ones. Uh, there's nothing related to them. They're just basically, hey, uh, here's a challenge if you can go kill all these things. I kind of wish that there was like, you got like a little model Kind of like what the robot models in Fallout 4 were, if you killed one. But, oh well, it's just basically a fun little challenge for you to go out and hunt these things. Sadly, I wanted to hunt them all in one video, but... Yeah, we're gonna have to take out the Night Stalker here and now. Hopefully I can actually take it out without the, those two coming down here and stealing my, killing my glory. Alright. And you know what? It's a fearsome beast. You know what it calls for. It calls for some medics. Eh, great, I'm now an addict. And it calls for some juicing up. And I will use that fixer to fix my addiction. addiction. There we go. Raul, don't you dare steal that kill from me! I think I made the kids mad. One, two, three. Oh God, I'm being supported by cuteness. Come on, come on. Eat it, Johnny! Rest in peace, my stalker friend. Actually, that was probably the worst choice of words in the world. <laughs> Can remind me that like that one emote on Twitch. Actually, I might turn that into an emote myself. Whatever. Um. Oh, I'll take your tail as a trophy to my victory. I also probably should heal up because... No, I, I'm not poisoned. It was just uh, the thing wearing off. You know what? A victory for my victory. Ay. So let's just grab the eggs and let's get out of here. Where the hell did those two disappear to? Because I know they killed one of the Night Stalkers because it fast forward all the way to their location. They definitely been through here. Oh, there you are. Where the hell did you guys disappear to? Oh yeah. I guess before I leave, I should make note that there's a there's a cache in here uh, behind a very hard uh, locked gate, and also as you can see, not a very subtle trap because. Okay, I would like to... Am I actually poisoned? Huh, I guess I am. I didn't know Night Stalkers poisoned you. I thought it, that was just only something Cazadors did. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Facts, good victory on Psycho, temporary addiction, different perception. Oh, my... My victory does not make me perceptive enough to lockpick. By two. Is there anything I can up my perception temporarily? Of course not. Is there anything I can hear that can up my perception? Yet. Yeah. I'll chew some tobacco so I can open a lock. Because that makes sense. Drunk with victory to see what I'm doing. I'm fiddling with this thing like a drunk guy. There we go. And before we cross the threshold into death, much better. We 
Because I can, as you can see up there, there's a grenade bouquet waiting just for me. Sadly, it is out of reach. Very mean-spirited of the game. Okay, I would like for stuff to stop wearing off on me now. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's still alive! What is it, buddy? What is it? Ah, uh, we lost him. He just wanted to get close to his syringes. I don't blame him. After going through something like this, I could use a hit. Note, I do not actually promote drug use. This is for pure comedic purposes. But there's a lot of money in here, so, of course, 7,000 bottle caps is nothing I'm gonna scoff at. You better compensate me greatly for having to go kill my favorite wasteland creature for you. you have good here are your damn eggs. Good work, stranger. The thorn will nurture these eggs until their hatchlings are ready to bleed for us. Here's a compensation for your service. I trust that we're in agreement over it. I've read packs of, packs of night stalkers that get you these eggs. My reward should match the effort. You speak the truth, stranger. And the thorn lives by the justice that honor and strength dispense. Here's a more fitting sum. All right. What's next? I hopefully don't have to deal with anything as bad as the Night Stalkers. I'm asking our top hunters to gather Casador eggs. I'd be impressed by whoever returns with such a prize. I'm sorry, what? Um, I think you might have been mistaken, but, uh, did you say Casador eggs? As in, I need to go into a Casador infested nest? Casadors are extremely deadly. But they are also reclusive. Try looking near the Red Rocks Canyons. And did you just say the Red Rocks Canyons? So, uh, I better be compensated greatly for doing something like this for you, because you're, you're literally sending me into the lion's den. The crowd loves your bravery. So long, stranger. Is it bravery? Is that what they're really calling it? Oh god, I'm over encumbered. Uh, bro. I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. Yeah, sure. Be awed by my whatever. Here, take take this stuff. Uh, you can take this hunting shotgun. You can take this revolver. And you can take this pistol as well. Out of my way, Eddie. I've got death to go to. Why, why did it have to be Casadors? I would have taken anything over Casadors. Why not Lake Lurks? Why can't we go and get Lake Lurk eggs? They're fish. Well, actually, they're turtles, believe it or not. But turtles lay eggs. So why can't it be Lake Lurks? Why does it have to be Casadors? Oh, God, that almost made me jump a bit. You, uh, you're on, 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 on. Uh, we'll come back to you later. Much, much later. But hey, all is not bad. Uh, there's a ranger station over here. We do need to pay a visit to so that we can just unlock its location as well as, uh, I just, I just want to see a friendly face for once. One that does not require me going into a Casador infested hellhole. Oh, I see a mantis. And dead. Very dead. Adorable, but dead. All right, so we have a split choice. We can either go to friendly rangers who won't be happy to see me. I doubt it. Or we can go to death. My money's on the rangers. 
And you know, this is, it's weird that this is the greenest that a Fallout game has ever been. Yeah, Fallout 4 has been a little little greenish uh, at times, but still, this is actually probably the most green that they've put into a Fallout game. That's not full of dead trees. And plus, we're in a desert. Or, well... Actually, yeah, it would be a desert. Evening. Good evening. Rangers, Rangers. Oddly enough, there's no Ranger veterans stationed here. This is like one of the only uh, Ranger stations that don't have veterans at them. I don't know why. Also, I don't like that little scurrying back and forth over there. What I know, I keep to myself. Caesar ta talks cost lives. Oh, careless talks cost lives. You're here for the money. I told the Emeritus I was good for it. I just need more time. Uh, I thought NCR Rangers were supposed to be tough and fearless. I don't want to talk about it. If you don't tell me, someone else will. I'd rather hear your version. We were on patrol near the dam when a Legion raiding party jumped us. Didn't even have time to radio it in. I was hit in the head with a machete and knocked out. Oh. Didn't kill me, though some nights I wish it had. When I woke up, my nerve was gone. The rest of my squad was crucified, butchered, mutilated. I don't know how they missed me. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they knew they'd broken me. I gambled and drank a lot after that. Got into trouble. But the Rangers gave me a second chance instead of kicking me out. So here I am. You were too tough to kill, and you'll get payback on the Legion someday. Maybe. But thanks for saying it anyway. So, uh, uh what happened with the Omertas? I talked to the cashier at Gamora into forwarding me some chips. I was convinced I was due for a hot streak. It uh, didn't go so well. The Omertas were nice and said they'd give me some time to pay them back. They also said if they had to talk to me about my debt again, they wouldn't be nice the next time. Oh, you don't have to worry. Uh, a good number of the big bosses are dead. Watch out for great cons. I brokered peace between you guys and the cons. Well, I encouraged them to vacate the premises of the wasteland when the time comes. I ain't good with the cons. I don't have to worry about them. Alright, so what to use to deal with the Kazador menace? Um... Mm, I'd rather not get too close to them. Eh, too light on ammo. Too explosive. Mm. Too American. Not enough ammo and they scurry too fast. Too mysterious. Ah, perfect. The perfect tool to deal with a flying orange demon. And we just actually need to get over to where their nest is. Which is a really weird location of where they where they put the nest. It feels like I'm going outside the map whenever I, I do this quest and go over there. Just because it, it, it just... Literally, if you look at the map, it's right here. It doesn't even look like it's inside the inside the area. It looks like we're literally like going past like the border that uh, outlines the the map, the area, the playing field as you would say. What's over there? I'm gonna go pay a visit but first things first, I'm a little cautious of what's over there. It's not scurrying back and forth which makes me think that it's just probably a mantis. Uh, you. That is something to be done with later. Uh, just ignore that for now. That 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 doesn't exist. Uh, we can't really do anything about it. Oh, I don't like that scurrying. We have no choice. We gotta brave the killing fields. Oh, there he is. I saw you. I saw you moving. I see you creeping. Uh, 
Don't think I haven't noticed. Just point and click. Just point and click until you see a, a, a burning puddle on the ground. That's when you know you got them. But then just keep pointing and clicking just, just to be sure. If Zombie Land has taught me anything, it's always go for the double tap. I'm gonna give that a, a wide berth. Yeah, I, I, I see a huge group of Cazadors. I, I do not mess with that. And go for eggs, they say. It'll be easy, they say. Oh, yeah, you won't have to worry about anything, they say. You might get a, a good reward in the end, they say. This is the last time I listened to rumors of myself. Do they see me? Oh, they do now. Oh, thankfully it was just a small one. Uh, the big one's on the way. Let's not. I only have 60 rounds. I refuse to use surplus ammo. I probably should just get rid of that because it, it will degrade, degrade this weapon up to all hell. Probably should have stopped the gun runners on my way here. Alright, um. Grenades. We're doing this, we're doing this right. The best way to clear out a bug. Smoke him out. Uh oh. Ooh, uh oh. Too close. Whew. That was close. I'm poisoned again. Damn it. I only got one thing of anti-venom as well. You know what? I, I'm i just gonna just grit and bear my way through it. Just chug a lot of water. Just gonna have to hold out until I clear them out because if I get poisoned again and I have no anti-venom, I'm up shit creek. And it looks like, looks to be like five or six still scurrying around down there. Oh, God. Obsidian, why would you make these things reality? Uh-oh. My worst nightmare, being out of ammo in the presence of a Cazador. Uh, we'll use the Magnum ammo. Shotgun, best bet for now, since I've run out of minigun ammo. Should be getting close to those nests. God, there's even more of them down here. Keeping quiet. Unless my creaky knees give us away. It better not. This is not the time nor the place for your creaking knees. Alright. One good throw to take them all out. I have a 0% chance of hitting those guys. I don't even know how he didn't see me. Of course I need to get closer. Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. I think they see me now. We have one shot. Good thing with grenades, you don't have to be accurate. Oh god, that is a terrifying image. Get up! Just seeing them all swarm around me as I I'm lay unarmed against them. Truly terrifying. Alright, now that we got the eggs, 
And now that they're all dead, let's get this venom out of me. That went better than I expected. It, it was touch and go at times, but I'm happy. Also, this poor super mutant, he didn't stand a chance. Neither did his head. But we get 50 milligram ammo for my anti-material rifle. That's always nice. C4, dirty water. One of the very few fat men in this game, believe it or not. And sadly, even though this is actually one of the more powerful weapons in the game, it does a lot less damage than it did in Fallout 3. However, it is still a force to be reckoned with. And the fact that there's only a few of them in the game... It, it makes sense to me. I mean, Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, you, those things were handed out like they were going out of business. Or, well, going out of style. But in this game, it, it truly shows that it's a really powerful weapon that are well hidden in the game. And, you know, you took the time, you went out, you found it, here's a really powerful weapon, go nuts with it. Also, its ammo is very scarce unless you get the perk that lets you craft the ammo, or you could just go to Gunrunners if you have the Gunrunners arsenal stuff and you can get the special ammo for the Fat Man. But that's neither here or there. During the base vanilla game, um, it, it was a powerful weapon, had only a few shots in it, so you had to make them count, but it really was, like, worth it. But we're back inside the thorn. Let's go and deliver us upon the eggs. I hope you know what hell I have gone through to get this stuff. Uh, here's your damn eggs. Good work, stranger. The thorn will need to be led until their hatchlings are ready to bleed for us. Here's a compensation. Or I could smash them right now and save you the trouble. Those counselors almost killed me. Pay me more, or... Let's pay more, more, all right? Though the risk of a hunter's life, I've delivered a promise. But perhaps I should better search for someone with greater resolve and honor. I guess I don't have the resolve. All right, fine. A thousand caps will do. Take the eggs. I thank you, stranger. The thorn thanks you. Is there anything else I can do? This is it, hunter. I've decided to grant you. The opportunity to earn the greatest honor the Thorn could ever expect. Death Claws are our most precious and our most feared contenders. I want you to be the one to deliver the sacred eggs to me personally. The sacred eggs, huh? Alright, fine. Where do I find these eggs? Quarry Junction is overrun with Death Claws. But you may stand a better chance at a nest near the Repcon test site. I beg to differ. I think Quarry Junction would be the better location. I expect nothing less from you, brave stranger. After the shit I had to go through, y y yeah, I think it's about time that I take a breather. Now, this is the one and only time that you actually get a choice of where you want to go to get the eggs. We can either go all the way down to Quarry Junction, which is right back up here, to get the eggs. So we can just go to like the encampment. It's basically that little cave that had the mini nuke and all that stuff that the that the uh, mother was uh, walking around when we went to go clear it out. Or we can go all the way down to Dead Wind Cavern, one of the most dangerous locations in the entire game. It is literally crawling with death claws and also a certain legendary creature that does not need to be named right now. Even though I did technically name it back at when we were going through Bloodborne Cave. So we got a choice of going to it. You know what? I'm going to take the lesser two evils. After what I had to go through to get those Cazador eggs. After the nightmarish hell and poison that I had to deal with. I think I deserve a bit of a breather. Thankfully, all the death claws in the quarry are dead. Never to come back. Remember right, there was also like a, a weapon out here, or there was like some like I think there was like a main nuke that's located out here near one of the mining equipment. That if I ever decide to go for it, I'll definitely come back and pay a visit to get it. There's a still a death claw out here. I did not do my job that well then. No, I don't see it. Oh wait, there you are. Don't think I don't notice you. Uh, just 
aim the reticle a little to the left and hold it. Hold it. Boop! I think I might have made him mad. I definitely made him mad. He seems a little perturbed at me. I don't even know what killed him there. I mean, Eddie's shots did not connect to him whatsoever, and I didn't even hit him. Raul's little pea shooter wasn't even that powerful to kill it, because it still had plenty of health left. I guess, just the, the sight of this knightly figure, with his robotic friend and his ghoul companion, standing aloft, daring to challenge its might, was just enough to give it a heart attack. Or, at least that's the story I'm gonna tell. What the hell was that? Alright, I'm getting a little creeped out. That has never happened to me before. I could have sworn I heard whispering. Uh, let's just get back to the thorn. I think, that, I think that cave might be haunted by those two skeletons. And that mole rat. Uh, I had to get that helmet off. It, uh, it, it, wear a helmet for too long and it starts to really chafe around the neck. Uh, Ma'am, I have brought back your egg, your holy eggs from the haunted cavern. Do you have good news? Here are your eggs. You've indeed become the greatest hunter the thorn has ever seen. The best I've ever seen. You've earned the honor of being part of this sacred ground. Come to me often, and I'll share with you the wealth of the thorn. Is there anything else I can do to help the thorn? Or am I done? You have completely bled me dry. The last many lifetimes, stranger. But I'd like you to come see me again. Thank hmm, you, I will. hunter. Hey, my name's finally decided to live up to something about you. Oh god, I'm over encumbered. Why do I have the reinforced combat armor on me still? That's weird. But yes, for doing that, for going out, getting every single batch of eggs, which there's still a good number of wasteland creatures that you need to that are in the game that you don't need to get eggs. It's weird that you only get a select few. Um, well, what do you get? Will you get private time with Lucy back there? Okay, Raul, let go ahead and wear my combat armor. But also, she gives you the unique hunting shotgun dinner bell. It's a really good gun. It's actually one of my favorite shotguns in the game. A lot of people decide to prefer the riot shotgun over this thing because it's like the riot shotgun holds more ammo and shoots faster and stuff. I prefer the hunting shotguns just because I just, A, I like the aesthetic when it just fits with, like, the Wastelandy style. Uh, it comes with the, like, the top rib and the choke as well. It doesn't come with, like, the longer barrel like the my other hunting shotgun does, which is sad, but, nah, what can you do? Uh, it doesn't uh, have a lot of spread to it, and it doesn't hold as much ammo, but it what it lacks for in the ammo and the spread, it does sure as hell makes up for her in damage. Like, this is one of the best shotguns in the game, in my opinion, and nothing will say otherwise, especially if you uh, mix it in with the magnum ammo. Just, mm, so godly. But, with all that said and done, with our shenanigans in the thorn done, with all the eggs collected, and with my uh, combat-armored Mexican amigo alongside my floating little iBot friend, Ugh, sorry about that. Next time on Fallout New Vegas, we are going to actually go back to the Lucky 38. I'm going to go and pick up Arcade. Uh, we're going to go travel around with him a little bit, maybe get a little bit more backstory onto him, because of all the companion quests that we've done, he's the only one who we haven't really fully realized yet. And then after that, we're probably going to be going around the wasteland and hunting the legendary creatures. I know it's going to be fun for some, and I know it's going to be tedious for others. 
So until then, I will see you guys next time. Later!